What's going on crypto peeps? It is time to check in on Finecoin and see how we're doing with this um, platform which launched pretty well and um, we saw some decent growth um, in the first few hours or the first day um, of it hitting the internal exchange. Uh, it went up to around $3 per fine and uh, then dropped back down which is unfortunate but not entirely unexpected and it's now been hovering around sort of 1.1, 1.2 around there since then. Um, I wanted to sort of show you guys how much I've actually made in Finecoin from the staking so far um, just so that can, we can see um, whether it's actually been a worthwhile investment and um, at least for me and how much I can expect to be making from it um, over the long term. So let's jump straight in and take a look at my stake in order. You can see here just as a reminder I have um, just the one stake in at the moment for 1302 fine coins and that was started on the 12th of February so that actually is due for release um, in just a couple of days time on the 4th of March and when I started this stake um, the coin I had selected was Finecoin and the reason behind that was that um, I thought um, I would get a lot more value out of it long term if I paid out if I got paid out in Finecoin um, in the early stages um, like before growth <clears throat> because those fine coin that I would have would then be worth a lot more down the line so that was my thinking and you can see here the the staking bonuses it just shows the last seven days they have been a bit low recently um, as they have in a lot of platforms that um, are paying out um, I was going to say like Thorncoin there, but actually I'm pleasantly surprised by the um, bonus rates that Thorncoin are actually paying out. I, I don't actually have a um, I don't have a, a long term stake in Thorncoin at the moment, so I'm not receiving anything. But I, I have seen it is um, it's pretty much been above one percent um, most days, and <clears throat> um, it's you know got up to towards 2% on some of those days um, from what I recall so they're actually doing pretty well in, in that sense um, but we're here to talk about Finecoin so reeling myself back in um, yeah so you know this is to be expected in the sort of market we've had and um, with everything that's gone on um, you can see it um, does seem to be Going back up slightly here, so today we've had a 0.95% uh, payout, um, which is good to see. So if I just jump back over to my staking payouts page, you can see here my history of payouts. And this is um, for just over two weeks worth of, um, of payouts. And you can see for the first sort of week or so, uh, I was getting exactly the same. That was when the... Um, bonus percentage was pretty much um, fixed at 1% so I was getting the same every day which is 13 um, coins um, on my variable bonus and 1.3 uh, for the 0.1% uh, guaranteed bonus um, as it then as they unfixed it I guess um, we saw that um, actually initially increase um, so we had quite a, a nice payout here of 21 fine coin um, and then it started dropping back down again uh, from there and it's um, come down all the way to as you see here 9 um, but it has come back up since then so my last payout um, which was yesterday was for 12.3 fine um, what I also noticed here um, I'm not actually sure uh, why is that the guarantee bonus is actually doubled it's gone up from uh, 0.1 to 0.2% now I've not seen any notifications from them 
uh, about any change to this or anything like that. Um, obviously, my my stake hasn't changed, so I don't know uh, why they why they've increased this. Um, I'm going to try and find out. If anyone else knows, please do comment below um, so that I can sort of pass that message on to to anyone else and just so I can know as well because I'm interested to find out why. Um, yeah, and again, as you can see, I mentioned uh, most of these were set to auto reinvest. Um, if you, we go back all the way to the beginning, I initially turned it on with, sorry, I initially had it turned off um, of auto reinvest when I started the state. Um, this was when we had that um, couple of day period where they took away the option, the sort of tick box for the auto reinvest feature um, and the cancellation feature as well. Um, so what I can assume, because at that point I was able to switch from from reinvesting, I could just turn it on and off and you can see it actually changed. Um, I guess what they were doing during the time that it was removed is actually making it so that uh, you couldn't just constantly change the, the payout type and the reinvestment um, option. Um, it's set to only change, from what I can tell, um, at the end of your lock period. And the reason I think that is because I actually changed my payout coin um, like a week ago or so to Bitcoin. Um, but you can see here, just jumping to the third page, uh, it didn't actually change my payout coin. It, it's always been paid out in Finecoin. Um, and also, I have unticked and reticked the auto reinvest feature uh, a few times, but that's not come across here in the um, auto reinvest column on this table. So, yeah, my, my guess is that um, the payout and the reinvest. Uh, will only change at the end of your um, lock-in period. Regarding the um, auto reinvest, I can only assume at this point now that um, anything that was set to be um, auto reinvested will be added to your stake again at the end of the lock-in period. Um, so I'll be able to confirm that in a couple of days. Um, and you know the reason behind that is because obviously going back to my staking order, it's it's still the same as when I put it in. You know it's not gone up, so I know that nothing has been added to it yet. One major thing as well that I want to point out that I have noticed that, um, to my understanding, is um, contrary to what we were told during the ICO, and that is that the staking value. Um, is actually connected to the value of fine. So when I put this stake in, um, it, it was worth exactly $1,302 because at the time, um, it was prior to the release of the internal exchange and Finecoin was uh, fixed at $1 um, per coin. Um, but obviously since then the price has gone up and come down and what we were told um, during the ICO phase um, and I can't remember where it was announced um, I don't think it was on their website it could have been in their white paper sorry um, but I think actually it was I vaguely recall that it was in a message to someone else. So, like, a, a big YouTuber um, had been messaging one of the admins, and it was an answer to one of their questions. Uh, and they said, you know, the the value of your stake will um, fluctuate along with the value of Finecoin. So, if the value of Finecoin goes up, so does the value of a stake. So, you know, you'll be earning more even though you've already put your stake in. And now obviously that hasn't happened um, because the, the value um, has been, well, I mean, if we jump to, 
So, like, if we jump to this one where I had the high payout, um, you can see here if I just do a quick calculation, um, 1,302, what was the bonus of 1.67 times 0 0.067, it was 21.74, which is what we've got here. So the value of my stake um, was still $1,302, whereas if um, if the value of the stake had actually uh, gone up in reflection of the price of, of fine, it would have been more than that because uh, the price of fine coin was at that point it was probably I don't know it, it could have been around like two dollars or something like that so that would have actually been double so I would have received something more like. 43 um, fine coin. So you can see here it is actually quite a big difference. Um, so I'd just like to know why that isn't happening and if that was a, a misinterpretation um, um, earlier on. Just jumping over now to my spreadsheet. Um, all I've done here is I've just created a Google spreadsheet and I have literally just um, dragged over this um, information in the table and pasted it into spreadsheet here and then just did, did a bit of um, editing um, so that I can just keep track easily of the totals and stuff like that. So up here I've got, um, I input the current value of fine and then the sum of all of this, of this column here, sum of all my payouts um, comes to 260 fine coin, which at this value is worth just short of $300. So in just over two weeks, I believe it's two weeks and three days, I've earned, I've basically earned $300 from fine coin. Um, that's the long and short of it, really. So um, I'm not yet in profit. Um, obviously, I, I invested more than this to to start, but I mean that's pretty good going. And I mean that's going to work out if we carry on like this. And bearing in mind this is sort of um, the lowest I'd expect to be getting over a, a two week period. Um, you're looking at at least six hundred dollars um, a month. Um, from this platform, but I do obviously still hold high hopes for this project, and I do believe that the value will eventually start going up. Um, so, obviously, that will be increased. Um, but that is really what I wanted to get to um, the crux of this video. Um, just the fact that this platform. I would deem successful and um, I am earning money from it um, I have pretty much got half of my investment back um, in just two weeks so you know within a month at least I would have um, broken even and be profiting So yeah, fine coin guys, it's uh, it's a good one. I'm really glad I got involved. Um, there's still a lot more to come from them. Oh, before I forget as well, um, PJ3, my man PJ3, um, put a video out earlier um, just with some uh, quick question and answers that he got back from the dev team. Um, just answering a few, I guess, common questions that they'd been asked um, about so, you know, how much um, supply is in staking at the moment? So they've said around 79%. Um, you know, when are we going to list on exchanges? Apparently they've, they've heard back from one and it sounds like that's going to happen, but um, it's not set in stone yet, so they're not announcing it. Um, the bot performance, you know, they've said it's, it's going okay, but obviously they, uh, they do want to improve it. So they're going to be doing some changes to that. Um, they will be adding more coins in the future, as they said, but at the moment that is not their focus. 
obviously the focus is listing on external exchange and um, doing other tweets like that. Um, the wallets as well, the mobile wallets, um, they've said it's feasible that they will be released within 30 days. Um, so that's cool. And uh, that was it, really it um, for that. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, that's all for this one, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Um, I'll update you um, more on some of the other platforms um, over the next couple of days, so stay tuned for them. Uh, but until next time, guys, take care.